Hey guys, we've been out of it. I was out of it last week, sorry. I had a little bit of the flu, but today. <laughs> my wifey Ashley thinks she's all BA, but she's not right now. She's even clearing her throat. So, wanna welcome everybody. Nurse Botox is on, AKA Rebecca. She's at the spa, she's kicking butt, and she's gonna be on the Billy Madison Show with me tomorrow. And we're gonna be talking about Amsculpt with Vanquish, Amsculpt with Cool Sculpt, Amsculpt Vanquish, Cool Sculpt. All this stuff you can do without surgery, right? But today I thought we could talk about surgery and how we can add Amsculpt to it or how we can add other modalities to it. And I'm gonna read some common questions from my live feed that I get all the time that I think, I think that you guys wanna hear because I get the same questions almost every time. So let's go to... Are the questions drop it like it's hot? Uh, the questions are not drop it like it's hot, um, but thanks for asking me that. And I'm trying to get to the one post we had over 15,000 views with almost 30,000 people that went to it. And that was the super mommy makeover for last week, which was a circum vertical, okay? Circum vertical, circum vertical or, oh my goodness, we're at 31,600 people reached and a ridiculous amount of views. And let's go over some of the comments. Remember, it was the one that showed the vertical and horizontal tummy tuck. That's called an anchor tummy tuck. Didn't Andre Valentin says hi, hi. Um, so I'm waving at as many people as I can. My glasses are getting stuck in my hair like a girl. Okay, we're not, we're better. Okay, thank you. So this is the surgery that we did last week, which was completely changed this woman's life. Let me turn it. You can see how she had a double roll. She had a totic mons. I did an, a vertical. What's a mons? A mons is the area just above the pubis bone. I did a vertical incision and then I cinched it together with a horizontal, sorry. I did a vertical incision to cinch the, the horizontal excess. Excuse me, sorry. And then I did a horizontal incision to pull down the vertical excess. So you could see right now, this was last week's surgery. Already reached almost 32,000 people and watched by over 15 to 20,000. We got almost 200 comments. And you know what, they're the same. But what is the really the difference in these surgeries? Well, she's gonna come back at some point for a breast lift with an implant. And then she also wants to increase her buttocks. Uh, fullness. I did not elect to do a BBL at the same time because it would have been too much. She would have had a circum, uh, she would have had, excuse me, a, an anchor tummy tuck, see that? The vertical and horizontal, excuse me, sorry. Dang, these phones are just jacked up sometimes. Here we go. Um, and adding a BBL would have done that. Christy Ramirez says, hey, hey, y'all. Jessica Rodriguez, what's up? Is your hair that straight or do you straighten it? My hair straight today? It's kind of curly, see? It has some curls. Okay, I'll leave it, leave it dangling in the front a little. There you go. No, I do not straighten it. I don't curl it. I don't do anything like that. So, I use shampoo. So, as you see here, she could, next, next time we see her, um, we also did a breast lift. You could see that right there. Okay. And next time she may come in and want to add to the buttocks area. So rather than doing a BBL uh, or a butt implant, which you can mostly do. Uh, did you do her arms? Did I do arms for the 21,000? No, that is without arms. The arms are going to come next. That is way too much surgery to do all at once. So she has decided to uh, come back for other things. So she will... Get the arms and maybe medial thighs done. These are the arms, medial thighs. We also added heat. We're gonna add heat to these areas with what they call a body tight. Will a body tight work on this? No. 
It will not. You're going to need that. Um, Amber Lowe says, oh my God, there's more. Do you do harms? Nurse Botox, of course, is watching. She'll be on with me tomorrow. Billy Medicine says, M sculpt. We're going to M sculpt her butt. And let me show you. Let me, let me answer a few questions from all of that. Um, so here's a question that was gone. Um, by chance, does insurance cover any of these work? No, it does not cover, unfortunately. And oh, we're doing some housekeeping. Ashley just threw a big curveball. So what I'm giving away for the first 10 texters, and when you have to text, you have to text in a 210-270-8595, the first 10 texters, okay? Get a $99 20-unit Juvo with Nurse Botox, Fernanda, or any or Patricia, any one of the girls. Um, That's a real long question from Amber. What are the yeah. meta metabolic uh, effects? What are the metabolic effects? Amber Lulu. What are the met metabolic effects of removing so much volume tissue and fat, namely on the kidney and liver? That's way too long for this. Uh, we can talk about that later, but uh, that's way too long and not real, real uh, good to talk about right now. But I'll definitely answer your question if you email me. And sometimes you don't know all the metabolic effects. So let's see what else. Ray Marie DeWalt says, great deal. Fernanda, one of our great, great estheticians is, wa is watching as well. Don't forget housekeeping 210-270-8595. If you want one of these surgeries or one of our deals, we're giving away $250 certificates tonight for the first 10 people that text into 210-270-8595. Fernanda is on Facebook. And she's ready to take your Botox orders. $99, 20 unit Juvel. Okay. Do you have Twitter up? Uh, yeah, I do. It's right there. Oh. Gosh, what kind of a producer are you? Because I'm looking. I don't see it. It's right here, bro. It's on. Two people are on. So how much would this operation be? Okay, so something as complex as this, you're looking above 17000 more like in the $20,000 range. What? What? Oh, more like in the $21,000 range. We do have financing, of course. Heather Stone Muir says, hi, doctor. Roseanne Valdez is our first texter, I think. And Freddie is waiting for those texts, as well as all the girls at the spa, just sitting on pins and needles, waiting for your text, okay? So Roseanne Valdez, you're gonna get a $250 gift certificate to the, any surgery you see tonight or any surgery you need. And you'll also get $99 20 units Juveau delivered by our great staff, including Men Limited, Rebecca, Patricia, Fernanda, and any one of the great staff at Spa Black. Two locations now. Okay, let's say this. Uh, was going to ask, what about a person at keloids? Very, very good question. Ruby Martinez, hi, doctor. Uh, oh, Heather Stone Mears, I've recognized you before talking. She says, I'm the person in Idaho will be in to visit someday. Okay, Heather, we can't wait to see you from Idaho. Great potatoes. Norma Corrales, hi, Dr. J. How are you doing? <laughs> Even my producer laughs. Um, James something, what's up, Doc? Sorry, couldn't help it. Don't know what he's talking about, but that's okay. Um, so let's do this one. How about keloids? Keloids are very, very hard to predict. If you've had them before, you're probably going to have them again. There are ways to reduce keloids, including radiation after surgery. What? Radiation? No, but it's targeted radiation just on the on the um, key, keyboard. What? Uh, on the key, keyboard, on the keloid. Ashley, what is Dr. Genemies in Texas, cowboy? Who are you talking to? She said, where are you? And oh, I meant to say oh, you're okay. in Texas, but it did a cowboy. <laughs> Amber Lulu 2 says, how often does Botox have to be administered once you have it done? She's on Instagram. I'm trying to wave as many people as I can. So Botox is not a one-time deal. I do have Botox clubs starting in 1700s uh, all the way up to $3,000 a year. It covers your entire year of Botox. I like the clubs. I've had them for over 18 years because at some point... You're going to need more. So we don't want you to open your wallet every time you come in, pay a different price here and there. You just get set one price. You get to come in all year. It's our Botox club. So please join that. And when we come to the spa, we tell you about it so you guys know. So back to keloids. There are programs. 
Uh, let's see. This one says, will she need to have any more surgery on her breast again? So Angela said that, and I think she, she just came on too. And, you know, every 10 years, your breasts are going to need something. So it depends on your life, if you've gained a lot of weight, if you've had kids, if you just want to get out of the, the implants that you're in. Uh, let's see. Looks painful. Let me tell you something. Oh, Sarah Jacob wants me to repeat the number again. Hurricane Ashley, will you give her the number on Instagram? But it's 210-270-8595. Uh, Sarah Segura, uh, the promo for January special. What does two parts of tummy tuck mean? I have no idea what you're talking about, Bonita. But text us in at 210-270-8595. And I'm doing virtual consults tonight. You go to my website. You hit the hamburger button at the top. Drops down. It says virtual consult. And I'll be waiting in the in our little virtual consult waiting room. And it will let me know here on my computer right next to me. And it'll be confidential. Sarah Segura, how much does a mini arm lift usually cost? A loose skin after weight loss. You know, mini anything doesn't do as good as a maxi anything or regular. So sometimes, jeez. Right sometimes you do need a regular to, uh, an arm lift. Now, I've done mini arm lifts where I've created the incision just in the armpit and I've pulled this in but then what happens downstream so sometimes you really do need the cut um Jenny Escobar says are there different prices for different people or are they saved in stone I don't know what that means but our prices are our prices prices aren't set in stone. their prices are set I'm, I'm not sure what that means but we do have $250 off tonight if you text in your name number uh, it depends. Your prices change. You right, and we also have specials. If you want and boobs in your arms or boobs in your tummy, it depends on what you're Yes, doing. so what Ashley's saying is, you know, whatever you want, you want, and we'll figure it out. Zoe Fox says, hamburger button sounds dangerous. Yes, it does. Uh, how many operations do you perform in a day? A lot. Uh, no. Let's see. Like I don't know. So in in my busiest months, which is the second time, um, my second... My, the second quarter is the busiest quarter. We could do somewhere between 40 and 50 operations in a month divided by four weeks. So you're talking 12 cases uh, divided by f basically three big days. So three to four cases a day and one small case on Friday. Uh, That's a good, do redheads really So need do redheads really need more anesthesia? You know, there's this, there is this um, uh, sort of... Um, story out there from anesthesiologists that redheads bleed more and they require more anesthesia and in general have um a little bit more um trouble falling asleep and waking up from anesthesia but but uh, it's an interesting anecdote that actually is passed along from anesthesia so that's a really good one that's one of the best uh, quotes i've heard in a while Ro uh, roseanne valdez on facebook says does it help to lose max weight before tummy duck absolutely uh, Sarah Segura says, thank you so much for the explanation of the cost of each arm lift, mini and full. Sarah, text me right now to 210-270-8595. And again, Heather Stone Mirrors. Um, oh, okay, let me answer Sarah's. 210-270-8595 on Facebook. Freddie will uh, text you. And if you do that, uh, he'll give you prices of mini and full. I think Joe John just got on there. Heather Stone Mirrors, I'm wondering the same thing. I know don't doctors will hear will not do until a certain BMI. That is correct. Uh, it, and it also depends on how healthy a person and why you're doing it. There's a lot of people who are so, have so much loose skin, it's causing fungal infections, or they, can, they can't you know, even walk really well, or they, they sweat all the time, so that's different. Uh, Amy Antu Arco says, I had weight loss surgery, and the skin is loose, loose skin is no joke. Of course not. That's why I have a job, because skin. And congrats skin. on your weight loss. And congrats on your weight loss. Uh, KG Jensen just joined. Keys. Stacy. Uh, Stacy and Jesus Luis. Is it better split into two rounds if you need complete mommy makeover? Maybe even three. That's a really good question. So let's tackle that first. So arms, face, neck, breast, tummy, and medial thighs, legs. 
I have to split those usually into at least three different surgeries, sometimes four. It depends on your health, how much I think I can get done, how I clear you medically, and how healthy you are. What is your blood count? How are your labs? How is your heart doing? So sometimes three to four sessions is gonna be required. And also how much do I have to do? If you're you know, five foot two to five foot five and you're under 140 pounds and you've lost a ton of weight, that's a different person than somebody who is five foot six, 185 to 210 pounds, who's looking just to get rid of the midsection because they're, they're sweating a lot or fungal infections. Anybody who wants to know more, you can call 210-270-8595 and text us right now. Uh, Evera187, nice hair. Thanks. Uh, that's good. So let's go over some other questions that I got this week. Uh, what is this? I'm not going to do that one. Let's see. Uh, ch -ch -ch. So body tight. Body tight, they th everybody thinks body tight is going to do a great job um, on people who have that much loose skin. It does not. You have to have a minimal to a moderate around an amount of loose skin to get that kind. I'm going to show you a body tight here that I did uh, just recently. Actually, I'm going to show you a picture just now of a patient we took today. She's going to be one of our patients. She had a butt uh, BBL. After this is the initial, then she had a BBL, then she added a butt implant afterwards. So she had fat grafting, then she added a butt implant. We just, uh, me and Joe John just did it today. And you can see that she's so happy and she came in today and filmed her happy video with us. So you'll see that coming up. But let me show you a body tight, what a body tight looks like, because it really helps to have a view of what body tight does. Some people ask me for an arm. Okay, this is a real arm lift. Whoa. This is a real arm lift, guys. With an incision at the bottom, okay? That one I just published to the website. This is around six months. There's actually an incision way under there. See that? There's an incision under there. Now, could body tight, knacky tight have done that? I, I think maybe it would have gotten close. But still, nothing beats surgery, okay, for a lot of things. But could I have used a body tight Accutane on there? Possibly. Would I have gotten the same results? Don't know. But it would be super close. I wanted to show you another body tight that we did. What are you laughing at? She's over here with her head on my lap now. After she Is she there. after she tried to eat you when you walked in? <laughs> Let's say this body tight. Okay. What type of surprises have you encountered while performing surgery? So here's a nice body tight. Oh, what type of surprises? Like lipoma? Wait a minute. Is the risk higher to perform a mommy macro on a BBW? Big beautiful woman. On a big beautiful woman. It depends on your age, how much you want me to do, what your starting hemoglobin is, and a bunch of factors. But if you're young and I deem you healthy, and we split it up, then uh, it's, it's absolutely less dangerous than you think. Uh, what's that surgery go for on Twitter? Oh, the arm lift, it's in the, about the $6,000 range. So, Young's Dental just joined us, nice. Katya Sant P joined us, so, nice names. I'm gonna show you a body tight here, and what, I, what, what I'm trying to show you here is what it does to the skin up at the top. So you can see how you have loose skin right there and then not loose skin. Loose skin here and not loose skin. Loose skin and not loose skin. She had a BBL, but um, she's gonna come back and get an M scope to make this, make the muscle point, point you out even, even better. So we, we've been adding M scope to our BBLs and our, even our butt implants and we're starting to see even a greater result. So this lady again had two, is about to, she's gonna have her second technology. The first technology was, a, was body tight. See how it just shrunk that skin? A BBL, now we're adding the M sculpt. And of course, we'll talk about it tomorrow. That's crazy. It's crazy, right? Uh, let's see what else we had here. 
It's incredible what this thing does. Uh, let's see here. And we're gonna read off a little, we're gonna read off a few more things from my Facebook from last month. Uh, Katya Santpi says, I'm from Brazil and I need this. Fly in. <clears throat> then on Twitter? On Instagram. On Instagram. On Instagram. We've got somebody from Brazil watching, which is awesome. Shelda Bradley Anderson is watching. Great son of hers. I think he still can be a plastic surgeon, Shelda. But you, we've got we've to push him in that direction. All right. So I'm going to read up some more stuff here. How long after a C-section can someone have a tummy tuck? That's a great question, and I get it all the time. I like to see someone, the beginning stages around three months to talk to them. And right around six months to one year is a nice time to start thinking about doing a tummy tuck or any procedure on the abdomen after a C-section. Great question by Tanya Faustine on Facebook. Uh, let's see. Some, some people are just crazy when they ask questions. Oh my God. Uh, 31,000 people reached. Let's see here. <laughs> but some of these questions are so crazy. Okay. What is he doing? There's going to be some nasty scars. Scroll down. Okay. Let's look at some others. Now, today I also did, as a recap, I did a, a procedure on a guy I call it the Sparta surgery because we're getting his chest and abdomen done. And I got these kind of questions. What's the price for the axillary area where the deodorant goes? Okay, well, we just don't piece it here. You usually have to get something else. Um, can I deepen and etch the axillary area? So when I'm doing a shaping on a man, I do deepen this area and get, his, get the pectoralis going. Okay. So I want to show you some other body tights and acutites and M sculpts that I've recently run into. And Fernanda started a watch party and I think I'm on the watch party with her, which is kind of weird, but I love you, Fernanda. Thank you for doing that. So we're going to go in here and we're going to show you some post-ops of recent surgeries to see if you like them and to let me know what you think. Now, again, what is the butt? A shapely butt. You see that? That's a shapely butt. Fortunately for her, that's a natural butt. She's a thin girl and she has a butt that's sticking out. How can you get to that butt? M sculpt, BBL plus M sculpt, butt implant plus M sculpt. Okay, so we should always add that. So Laurel Rios on Facebook said, How much is a tummy tuck? $13,999. Uh, and. Um, Every once in a while, we have a uh, special on that, but you have to keep watching for that. But you might as well do a mommy makeover. But if you're going to do that, you might as well do a mommy makeover. Exactly. Uh, some more, more comments that I'm going to read. Ellie from Facebook says, is it less difficult to put implants on someone that has smaller boobs or more difficult? Just wondering. That's a great question. If you listen to me and we do the right implants, then putting implants on anyone isn't difficult. It's putting implants on someone that needs a lift as well. Because remember, when you're coming in, you don't want just, I, I love when people come in and said, I want, I ask them, how big do you want to go? I want it to be natural. BS, your breasts are natural the way they are. You want them to look better than natural. So to look better than natural, almost everyone that gets a lift should get an implant. I, I didn't say everyone. I said almost anyone. Why? Because you want that round fullness from the sternum all the way up and around, okay? That, when we put that in, that gives you that cleavage. And it gives you the showy breast that you can look in a V-neck or in a bathing suit. The lift just centers the breast tissue on the implant. Judith Perez, we just waved at you. Coronado Cerda, 24, says, Hi to my fave doctor. She's on Instagram. Uh, what is the difference between gummy implants and silicone? Well, gummy implants are cohesive silicone. So there's really no difference. In the old days, they weren't cohesive. So now gummy implants by either company 
they've formed a little bit more cohesion by cross-linking the silicon. So, how long does it take it heal to heal after surgery? That's a good question on Facebook. So, after surgery, you do want to take yourself some time off. A lipo still has a little bit of pain after 24 hours, 72 hours, that a lot of companies are making claims to go back to work the next day. That is absolutely ridiculously not true. At best, if you have liposuction with me on a Friday and it's four to five areas, and you're in great shape and you're at a sit down job, you may get to work back on a Monday. However, there is gonna be some discomfort. So I tell everybody, wait at least a week, let your body heal, you're gonna be sleepless for a couple of nights, you're gonna be tossing and turning, and you just need to heal from that. So let's see what else people have asked. Um, we are gonna ask these comments here on Facebook. Again, my Facebook has a ton of videos. A lot of it is good mornings, good mornings, good mornings. We're gonna go back here. I get a lot of questions also on Instagram direct messages on Instagram, and here we go. This lady here, the girls who set this up for me, unfortunately put her hand in there, but you can see the before with a little bit of a gut, extra folds, and I know her arm is in the way, but if you can imagine that those folds are almost all gone. There's some folds. That's also after a body tight. So this was a combination surgery of real liposuction, and body tight, okay? So that's a combination of using a technology with a surgery. Old school surgery is liposuctions, tummy tucks, but adding heat to anything in the skin will shrink it. Uh, all right. What else have we got here, guys? We've only got a couple more minutes left. Oh, I have three more minutes. So listen, let's do our housekeeping again. Tomorrow morning, we're going to be on the Billy Madison show. We're going to be talking about M-Sculpt, adding it to make a bigger butt, to do your abs. Now they have something for the arms, to get you arm strength, and for the biceps. You can sit there and literally do 20,000 contractions in 30 minutes of your arms uh, for that. And we'll be talking about that. Those packages start $39.99, $3,999, but gets you four fat melting sessions and four M sculpts. We're one of the few, if only one out of two practices that own both a fat melting product called Vanquish and the M sculpt made by the same company. Katia Sant, uh, Katia Sant said we would love to have you. Good. Um, as we're finishing up, don't forget our special. We're going to post it one more time on Facebook. Uh, 210-270-8595. The first 10 people that text tonight are gonna get $99 Juveau, which is a Botox-like neuromodulator, which I use in my forehead, it works great, uh, by one of our trained staff at Spa Black, Fernanda, Patricia, and Rebecca. And coming in the future, we have another one coming. Um, and we'll give you $250 off surgery. So call us, text us, parachute in, give us smoke signals, let us know you're there. Next week, I'm going to be talking about, people wanna know about lower body stuff. So legs, medial thighs, lateral thighs, saddle bags, even calves, calves. So people are either lipoing them because they think they're too fat or they're, they're adding fat to the sides because they think they're too skinny. So calves have a little bit to do there too. We'll also be showing a little bit of the M sculpt with the arms, how it really makes the arms Bigger and badder and bolder. But anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. As always, all of these are all on my website under Q&A with Dr. J. If you've missed them, they're also all. Um, oh, Sarah Segura, my appointment is booked. Thank you so much, Dr. J from Facebook. So we have somebody booked already. Um, and we appreciate you, Sarah. And uh, don't forget to uh, bookmark your computer to or your phone to Dr. Genevieve's YouTube, Dr. Genevieve Plastic Surgery, where we upload every video we do here and every video in the OR. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification button and see all these videos. 
Uh, Normal Corrales says, Rebecca Rosa Spall Black is awesome. We know. Thank you so much. Zoe Fox gave us a bunch of kisses, kisses on a kissy emoji. And Hurricane Ashley kissed her back. So we're good. La last bit of housekeeping. We do moonlight consults from 5 to 7 on the second Thursday of every month, guys. The second Thursday. And that means you come in from 5 to 7. I do 10-minute quick consults. We give you a quote right there. And they're very good prices. Thank you guys for watching. As always, it's an honor to be with you tonight um, and to be in your living rooms. I know there's a bunch of things you can do. Uh, but joining in to join us is something that I, I feel really privileged to do. And, and I want to thank you all. Uh, let me know what else I can do for you. And as always, peace.